Today we are in Toke, Alaska. In Toke there is a place called Mukluk Land. Traveling, exploring, and learning on the road. Fun and family road trip. It is like a mini golf place with like a huge cabbage and a dollhouse. We were gonna go today, but then we found out that it was closed until June 1st. And so that sucks. I really wanted to do mini golf or big bounce or see the dollhouse collection or even see that gigantic cabbage that they have here. Apparently they have the world's largest cabbage. Which sounds cool. So, yeah, that sucks that it's closed. Mm, maybe when we come back, we can come see it. We were camping at Moon Lake, which looks like a river, yet it is one gigantic lake in the shape of a crescent moon or a horseshoe. We went and played on the sand our site and made little sand beaches. And there were leeches in the water. We saw some trumpeter swans and their babies. When we left Moon Lake, we decided to give Emmett a haircut. Cut up his hair and made his all his little baby hair go away. Now he is a handsome boy. Check out what we saw when we were leaving. Time to do some gardening, huh? It is spring, time to plant flowers. Mow your lawn on a roof. We're at the end of the last game. Wait, hold on. 1,422 miles. Oh, oh, this is the Alaska end of the Alaska Highway Memorial. It's the end of the Alaskan Highway Memorial that people go to to see where the end of the Alaskan Highway is and that where it bridges off to the Richardson Highway. They have bison in there and some swamps. Let's go check it out. What is that? Is that a baby bison? Baby. Up on top? Mommy. Now we went to the Sullivan Roadhouse Museum, right across the street from the end of the Alaskan Highway. Yes. It is a table. Okay. What do you guys see that's cool? Pianos. Sauce. Snowshoes. Shovels. This is not just a piano. Saws and snowshoes. Got tons of old metal pieces everywhere. Gold pants. People will probably were mining. It's all the old stuff they found. Delta. It's junk. So here we are in the North Pole seeing a reindeer farm. These are caribou's, fuzzy horns. And in the town of North Pole, they have Santa Claus House and Reindeer Farm. Oh, oh, oh. I'm ready to unwrap something magical. Let's see what it is. Oh my goodness. Hey, Emmett, where are you? Uh, I'm trying to have What are these? What do you see in here? 
I think this is where Santa gets all of the toys to give kids for Christmas? Probably. Okay, the other guys, I'll get a candy, I'll get a candy cane. Oh, sorry, buddy. Thank you. Hey. Mom and Dad also get one. They'll get one of this. Even Universal Welding looks like Christmas. We are staying at another Walmart, but I'm bringing it out here to show you the sky all the way around. Get nice and dizzy. And the sun is still up out there. Behind some clouds. But it's totally bright out. Just like daytime. But it is 11.09 p.m. And this is about as dark as it gets. We're in Fairbanks. Uh, we were told, well, at the visitor center in Toke, there was a sign up saying, do not stay at the Fairbanks Walmart, you will be towed. As you see, there are a lot of people staying here. We went in and we asked them and they said, you're perfectly fine to stay a night. Um, the spots are marked for RVs. They tell you which direction to be pointing. Um, most of these people are pointing the right way. That guy in the back is not in a spot and facing the wrong way. There's a couple of them over there. Uh, this person looks like they broke down. They are not in an RV spot. They do have electrical outlets out here because in the winter it gets cold and people need to plug their cars in. They're not for RV use. Uh, so we are not using those. This Walmart is open 24 hours. Uh, the lights so far are not on. I see a seagull sitting on top of that light post. So hopefully it's quieter here than it was in Whitehorse. Uh, the road noise back behind us is much louder. It's a much busier road than we had at the Whitehorse Walmart. Um, but we plan on just staying here for one night and then we're going to go find some better place to stay with a lake or a river and trees and forest instead of parking lot and RVs. And we'll see if it gets any darker. If it gets any darker tonight, I'll come out and show ya. Um, Brittany's been getting some awesome sunrise pictures at about 3 or 3.30 in the morning. So before we hit the road in the Winnebago, I made some good curtains. I made them very thick so that the light doesn't shine through. They work well in that respect. The light cannot shine through the curtains, but it shines around the edges of the curtains. And it shines in and lights up the whole room. So this is what we did. We put up foil on the windows. Um, I did it on all three of our bedroom windows because I was not sleeping well because it was just too bright. So we're gonna try that. It's kind of gonna be a hassle because we need some airflow in our bedroom. So during the day we have to take them down. Well, not we don't take them completely down, but we have to open it up so that we can open up the windows. Um, it gets condensation in there. We don't want it to mold. Uh, so far, the, it's not very humid at all in Alaska, so mold has not been an issue in here, even with seven people in such a small space. And so that's been really nice that it's very dry. Um, we do have a little thing that tells us what the humidity is. Oh, and there's a mosquito trying to get me. Uh, we have a thing telling us what the humidity is, and lots of times it's like at 16 or 19 percent, which is very low. Um, but with the condensation trapped in between the foil and the window, there could be a mold problem. So we'll have to not just keep them up there. It'd be super easy if we could just tape them all the way around and keep them up there all the time. 
but I don't think that will work. So for now, we're just gonna move it out of the way so we can open windows and get some airflow in there. But our room is much darker now than it was before. So that should be nice. I'm sure we'll sleep much better.